Hello everyone, welcome to today's video on how to make this magical shield effect using Blender shader nodes. So, let's get started. First, let's open up a brand new scene and add in a sphere. Let's set the shading to smooth and the subdivision surface levels to one and apply that modifier. Let's add in a new shader, delete the principled BSDF and add in a transparent node, an emission node, and a mix shader node. Let's hook all these together and add it to here. And as we can see, it's already working, but we need to do one thing first. If you are using the EV render engine, we have to set the blend mode to alpha blend and the shadow mode to none. If you're using the cycles render engine, this does not apply to you. So next we are going to do is add in the halo ring effect by using the layer weight node. If we go and view this, as we can see, the center of the sphere is darker while the edge is lighter, according to our perspective. Let's bring this over here and add in a color ramp node. So what we're going to do next is add in these two like uh, mini nodes and have it be dark towards the edge by a little bit and towards the center as well. Next, we are going to set this to the B splined interpolation method. And this just makes the interpolation mode a lot smoother and a lot more gradual. So let's hook this up into our mix shader. As we could see, this is looking quite nice. And let's change the uh, color to blue, like the final result. Let's set the emission strength to something like uh, 25 seems good for about now, but we are going to change that later. Let's add in a math node before the color ramp node, set it to power. What this does is make it so that we could dial in our effect and make it crisper, as we could see here, or just a tad bit narrower. Let's increase the emission a bit more. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice. Yeah, that seems pretty good. And next, what we are going to do is add in the... Uh, ring around the floor as if it is when the sphere contacts the ground it causes it to glow So for that we will use the uh, uh, texture coordinate node Use the object output and use a converter separate XYZ node to get the Z value or the height of the sphere as we can see here Next what we are going to do is add in another color ramp node make it so that only the bottom here the alpha blend mode makes this glitch a little bit. Don't worry about it. It doesn't really affect the final result. But as we can see here, if we narrow this, the zero value, as we can see here, is the start of the white. And then it gradually goes over to the darker values towards the top. Let's move this over here a little bit. And what we are going to do next is mix the halo effect and the ground effect together. And the way we do that is by using a maximum node. Let's hook these two together and look through here. And as we can see, it, the two are already mixing. Let's look at the final result so that there's no glitching. And yeah, it's working quite well. Let's set the power to three just to make it look a little more cinematic. But as you can see over at these corners over here, it looks a little bit sharp. Well, how do we smoothen that out? Well, that's actually extremely simple. Let's use the smooth maximum note maximum node and set the distance to one as we can see all this is smoothened out you could go crazy with this but i recommend just staying at one or two i think one is good for now and boom you basically have the entire effect if we go into edit mode we could bring the sphere up and show more of the uh the um sphere and have the ground impact uh glow be lower on the sphere or we could do the opposite Okay, so next, what if we want some distortion to this, like we saw in the final result? Well, to do that, we will use a noise texture, texture, noise texture. And then we are going to press Control T if you are using the Node Wrangler add-on to add in a mapping node and another texture coordinate node. Make sure that the object input is into the mapping uh, input right here. Next, what we are going to do is add in another add node right here, and then a multiply node right after the noise texture. And let's hook that up right there. Uh, let's set the value to something like 0.2, and then add this to that. As we can see, there's already some distortion happening, but let's make it a little more subtle and a little more artistically um, 
pleasing. So let's set the scale to three, set the detail to one, and that's looking pretty good. But now let's make this rotate. And if we have it rotate on the z-axis, it looks like the energy is swirling around in a vortex. So to do that, based on the animation time, let's put in hashtag frame divided by 12. And if we start playing the animation, as we can see, it's spinning very nicely. Let's set the Z scale right here to four. Hmm, three or four, I don't know. And we could just play around with these settings to get the result that we want. Like setting maybe the scale to two. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. You could change the intensity by changing the multiply value. You can make this very extreme where you get this very nice kind of uh, smoke effect almost. But remember, this is view dependent. Wherever you look around in your scene, the kind of uh, effect will follow the camera, which you don't always want. But when you're, you are using it in just a shield manner, it looks very good. Okay, so that's basically the entire effect. Um, if you want to support my channel, look at my Twitter page, my Gumroad page, all that good stuff. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next tutorial.